Americans for there, according to tradition, it's beer and hot cross buns on the menu, plus a little exercise. Yeah, we sent our reporter Helen Grace to get a little piece of the action. Here's her report. Good Friday for some, a day off work and a bit of relaxation at the local. The Queen Vic in Bradwell Village, rumoured to be the inspiration for an East End television pub. Here the villagers seem to have the holiday spirit, yet something's afoot. But if you ask for a takeout today, you'll get more than you bargained for. <laughs> Take your bun, madam, and make your way to the starting line, please. Here the drinkings are warm-up for a grand tradition. The Good Friday race around the village, armed with a hot cross bun and a glass of beer. It's a piece of village history. I've been doing it, I've been in it for 40 years. And it's important to keep it going because people older, a lot older than me that did it in the first place for, for something to do on a Good Friday. This is uh, one of the old villages of Milton Keynes and uh, people really appreciate the environment here and they, they just enjoy taking part. And you're ready, go! Half a mile to run for this race that's supposed to date back to Victorian times. Spilling the beers to be avoided and dropping your bun. That's a foul. Cheaters can get caught out as some of us struggle home. <laughs> the race is won by the man who can best hold his beer. Let's do it a little bit slowly, let everyone run past you spilling the drink. <laughs> Are you telling us that you didn't cheat at all? Definitely not. No, you can't win with cheating. No, it's definitely not my, my stamp. Uh, there should be gold medals all round, it's great, isn't it? There should be more, a little bit more enthusiasm, a few more come down. It's a village that's kept up tradition and ensured a fun start to the Easter break. In Bradwell Village, they think it's all over. It is now!